Hello and welcome to Wheatzer's Woodshop. My name's Ted. We're gonna make some things. So here it goes an experiment. So that log or that uh, stump log, whatever you want to call it, the piece that the saw is on, I'm going to make the other hand. And uh, let me take this off the mount and I'll walk it around. So this is going to be, I'm going to cut this narrow about 12 inches. And then I'll draw from the top a hand for the Sasquatch on this side that will be grabbing that thrown so it's about um, 22 inches about 10 inches in diameter and then i'll make the hand about 12 inches in diameter so it'll be curved around and then grabbing that so i'm gonna measure some more measure twice cut once and uh, try to design and mold it into that it might look funny on the inside but the outside is all that matters so all right let's uh still got that fire going let's see if we can get this done It's not light. All right, come on, saw. one hand and a forearm so I had to flip it over my brain doesn't work unless I do it the right side so it's gonna be like this so I drew a line you can't really see it but I'm gonna trace it out with this so I have a reference and those are gonna be the fingers that go around that so hopefully so I'll cut it here and then come down to here and get my tape measure So we want the, the wrist and the forearm to be about nine inches in diameter. So I'll come right about there and then down. So I see it. All right, let's uh, cut this up. Gonna be a long one. See ya. All right, that could be deep enough, but let's uh, chop a chunk off of here and see what happens. <laughs> on there good there we go all right one piece down all right little saw cleared a path so big saw let's see if uh, I get the rest of this stuff. Man, 
Geico. This is a really good saw. Anybody interested in this one, man, get it. 590, CS590 timber wall. This thing's a torque monster. Okay, so did a rough sketch. This will be the top of the hand and then the wrist and then the fingers up there. So I'm gonna use the little saw to trace that out. this one. Oh, crap, it's starting to rain. Been here about a half an hour and I was finishing up on Sasquatch's hand, getting things sculpted, using the little pro saw. Things are starting to get, look pretty good. And then this happens. It's snowing and raining at the same time. So I'm going to take a break, see if I can wait it out. This could be the the last, uh, <laughs> the last video of this day. So things are looking good. We got here; it was pretty wet, but it's what all I can do. Pacific Northwest, so looks like I'll have to take that hand home, do some measurements. If you remember, well, look at the puddle puddles forming on the throne. It's going to be right here, and it's going to be hanging on to this. So similar to that. And uh, I'll connect it with some dowels. Should look pretty good, but in the meantime, here comes the snow. Let's see if I can uh, oh, get some more done today. Oh, well, that's the way it goes, Pacific Northwest. All right, thanks for watching Wheatsers Wood Shop. If this is the only part of the video I can do. Hey, make sure you check out my affiliates page. I got some tools coming on there every day, Amazon affiliates, and also uh, please like and subscribe. That's all I can all I can ask for. All right, let's uh, let's find some shelter. All right, I got lucky. It stopped snowing. So let's uh, let's look at what I'm doing over here. So we got. Uh, a lot of this hand roughly sculptured. So what I'm gonna do now is I'll use the electric saw and I'll do the detail with the fingers. I'm gonna do the thumb up here. It's gonna be more cupped than it is grabbing. So we'll just leave it at that. It, there was a rot spot below and I carved a thumb and it fell right off. So not a big issue. We'll just make do with that. All right, let's uh, get to some detail work. So the thumb's gonna be up here. So I'm gonna trim this off. other fingers we're just gonna make lines and then we'll sculpt them <laughs> you get the idea let's uh, not make this boring all right so the hand is pretty rough cut out but we got a new product <clears throat> got this yesterday uh, wife found it what happened was is I had a battery go bad finally so I ended up getting a battery and a charger and I got this free so which so far so good um, can't say too much about it other than I like this trigger handle here. 
I, I love the fact that it has you know both sides where you could put the the handle because sometimes you have to be amb ambidextrous. <laughs> so we're gonna test it out and see how well it does. Uh, kind of partial to the Milwaukee stuff, just you know, obviously you can tell, but it's where I was born, <laughs> Milwaukee, Wisconsin. So, uh, but even before or <laughs> of all that aside, Milwaukee makes some good products. Let's uh, let's see what this guy can do. I love it. My wife's the greatest. <laughs> Sweet product. Buy it. I gotta wallop this off before you get back over there. Oh, wish me luck. Alright, let's see how true I got that all right again no microphone just using the iPhone sorry for the audio if it's bad all right I'm gonna lift this hand up here and then we'll mark this angles against this one. Oh man that's heavy uh, that's what we got so I'm gonna have to cut off a lot of this side just flat so right here, which actually is pretty good, I'm just going to wall up that straight and that line will take a little at a time, straight down and uh, <laughs> see if it works. Let's test this fit. Man, I'm tripping over all these logs. Alright, Hulk hand. Sasquatch. <laughs> oh man, so close. That's good though. That's really good. I'm gonna bring it back just a little bit. Maybe at this angle. We'll see. Just a little bit more. Okay, here's here's where we're at. So, got a couple of dowels. I made those, so they're pretty big, about an inch and inch and a quarter, or something like that. So I got them parallel. I got them really nice in there. They're they're kind of loose, which is good. So the glue will hold that up. So then I'm going to take those dowel centers, and then I'll drill that for this diameter. Find the center of that, put that in there. Then I'm gonna run that hand up against these and then this point should mark that. All right, in theory, this should work. If these are parallel and I find center on these pretty good. So let's, <laughs> let's see what happens. I've done it in the past like this, so I don't know. Is there a better suggestion? Maybe, maybe I could cut one of these off on, I got a spare and then put the tip in there and then bring that all the way back. That might be better. So I don't know, we'll, we'll figure it out. 
All right, let's see. Uh, All right, hopefully see. you can hear me. I'm using the camera, the uh, phone, microphone again. So I got them in there. I little trick, I'm gonna blacken these and make them, you know, fresh with a permanent marker. Then I'm gonna push that up there and then the back of the hand, I sanded smooth so we can see these dots. So let's, uh, let's see if this works. Hopefully this will be enough pressure and enough black to just see these dots. Here comes the hand. Oh, geez, this thing's heavy. All right, let's, uh, let's get right there. Oh, perfect. There it is. Worked like a champ. All right, let's drill another hole. All right, that's enough. I. Uh, I've been dodging the rain, it's snow, sleet, back and forth for about two and a half hours now, and uh, I'm sick of it, so I'm calling it a day. Almost got that hand up there. So I'm sitting under a heater now on the porch, trying to stay dry. So I'm gonna start putting my tools away, and then uh, that'll be it. Poor Sasquatch is getting rained on. So, All right, everybody, thanks for watching. I'll make this one short just because I have no choice. <laughs> and things were going so good too. Hey, uh, make sure too, you guys, again, check out my Amazon uh, associates or affiliates page and my links. Also, if you buy something on there and you stay linked onto it and you're searching Amazon, it helps me out also. So buy a barbecue, buy a Rolex, you know, cheap things. <laughs> All right, everybody, thanks for watching. Wheatzer's Woodshop. Moment of truth. Hopefully you guys can see this. Drilled both sides, did the hand, dodged another rain squall. Oh, so close. It wants to go, but it doesn't want to go. The the hole needs to be bored out. All right, back to the drawing board. All right, attempt number two. So this time I put the dowels, hopefully you can see this. I put them in the, the hand. So let's insert. Like a glove. All right, I got to pound it about another quarter of an inch and I got plenty of room. So that's really good. Might have to trim the, uh, the throne just a little bit. It's the bottom's touching right here, so. All right, mission accomplished. Holy crap. Now I get to blend all this in, cut this the same diameter. I'm not too worried about the inside but I'll make this blend in. All right, job done. Every time I run out of gas. Ah. All right, let's try this again. I have gas. Well, in the saw anyway. I am 
pretty satisfied. Big old hand. So I just shaped it as much as I could with a uh, saw. And then uh, I'll come back with a grinder or a sander and then uh, we'll get all the detail and the knuckles and fingers and then we'll trim it down a little bit. It's, it's only about mm, half an inch, three quarters of an inch bigger. We're gonna get inside there and uh, trim that down and mold that to his arm. And other than that, we're, we're close. There's the eagle. Let's see if I can focus on that. No, I guess I can't. Doesn't want to, just wants to do his face. So pretty cool, pretty cool. All right. Thanks for watching everybody. I got out here about another 45 minutes and we got this puppy up there. Man, I'm ready to go home.